a lot of work, but it's fun work. I'm having a blast with this. We have some general assembly rules. I like to call them ground rules. And they're very short, they're very good size. Posted on the wall all the way around here. And the people who are the policing the rules are you guys. Okay? This is decentralized. There's not a leader, there's not some figurehead, there's not a rolling committee, nothing like that. Uh, we do have different committees. One of them is a facilitator committee. Anybody who's facilitating is just making the process easier and trying to enforce the process, but they're not allowed to do content. It's like what's getting done and voting and stuff like that. You guys have to do the content because, as far as I know, everybody in here is from America, or if you're not, you want to be from America, that's cool too. And between us, I'm done. So we got to all come together in this stuff, and that's what's really neat. So I'm just going to go over them real quick. Uh, this is where we're starting. We can add rules if we need to. If you feel that this is not an adequate list, get back to any facilitator and recommend something, and we'll review that in our committee meeting as well. So let's go through it. Trust the process and trust each other. All right. Everybody here is either out of curiosity, certainly goodwill, anybody willing to you know, survive our traffic to get down here like me, come out in the rain and sit in a union hall with a bunch of people you don't know, you're already the kind of people that want to get stuff done. So we can trust each other. We're all here of goodwill. Is anybody here not of goodwill? <laughs> I didn't expect anybody to put a hand up, but that would have been really interesting. <laughs> okay. Trust each other. We can work it out. This process that Steve's going to describe in a moment really works. We did it last night. It can be a little frustrating, but <laughs> democracy is a sloppy business. Uh, even when I was living in New England, they have a lot of small towns, they do town meetings there, very similar to this. We're not used to this in Delaware. We don't have small, at least not in Newcastle County, a whole lot of small towns that have town meetings to decide stuff. So this is a really good way to learn that. That's why I think Boston is so, so good. Okay, so trust the process, trust each other. Now, second one, dissent, don't attack. So I'll put a fancy word on that, no ad hominem attacks. We're dealing with things we're not dealing with trying to fix anybody or change anybody's mind. Our strength is in our diversity and all the different skills people bring here. That's going to lead to some conflict. I guarantee it. Hopefully it's not physical contact. Okay, so <laughs> stick to the issues. No ad hominems. Don't talk out of turn. We have facilitators who are going to help uh, manage the process. We'll list everybody who wants to speak. Boom. Speak from experience. A lot of diverse experiences here. Use that. Speak for yourself. No one, and this is a really firm ground rule, uh, whether you belong to a union, whether you belong to any kind of affiliated group, whether it's a religious group, or any kind of group for that matter, you're not here to represent them only in that you are here. You have to represent yourself. Okay, you're not speaking for anybody else but you and your experience. Thank you very much. Those are great rules. Let's stick to them. Steve, let's go through the process. Hi everybody, we talked a little bit about the process. Uh, what we're going to be using tonight is uh, something called direct democracy. Uh, we have a process that we're working through, as I was mentioned earlier. Uh, this process is essentially developed in something called the uh, facilitation group. If you're interested, that interest in helping out with that process, come up to me at the end of the meeting and we'll talk about it. That being said, let's talk about the actual process that we're doing tonight. We're going to be voting on two proposals tonight that we've worked out so far. Uh, we'll introduce those to you a little bit later. Uh, but to get to those proposals, we will be doing a specific process to actually vote on them. What we will do first is we'll present the proposal. Uh, we'll have two people come up, they'll say what their proposal is, and they'll try to explain it the best they can in briefly. After that, we'll have clarifying questions. Basically, if you have a clarifying question, it's specifically something like, I don't understand this is going on. Kind of like saying, uh, someone mentions, we're going to bring chairs. If someone's really, really concerned with what kind of chairs, you might say, well, when you say chairs, do you mean stools or do you mean folding chairs? That's a clarification question. Other thing is a concern. That will be the next step. We'll have concerns. A concern, an example of a concern is, uh, you know, we are talking about getting chairs. Someone can say, I'm concerned that the chairs that we usually get usually break. That is a concern. It's a factual thing. Uh, both of those things, neither of them should be opinion-based, and all of them should be fact-based. Uh, after that, we'll have something called an amendment phase. That's where anyone who is uh, curious about, uh, not curious, that's the bad word. Uh, anyone who is, 
Anyone using the whisper button? <laughs> anyone who wants to add something to a proposal, uh, a friendly amendment, can raise their hand, uh, and we'll actually go through a small process to introduce that amendment. Uh, basically, an amendment can be like if we're talking about uh, once again procuring chairs. Someone can say, "I'd like to amend that we say we actually not to use chairs; we're going to use bean bags because uh, bean bag chairs are technically better for your back." Uh, that's an example of an amendment, and that will also be voted on uh, as well. So that being said, the way that we will actually kind of uh, group people's comments, we'll have a stack taker. Actually, we'll have two, tack, two uh, stack takers. Today. Now, what stack is? It's basically a list of people who are going to speak. What we'll do is everyone who wants to speak during each process will raise their hand. Uh, let me see some raised hand. And basically, I'll say, "What's your name?" And yeah, I'll put Mike down on the list, and uh, I'll, I'll keep a list of who, who wants to speak, and hope for the same that. And in order, we'll, we'll call people up this way. Everyone has a chance to speak, and we call take turns speaking. This way, the process moves forward. If you want to speak over each other. Uh, so that being said, uh, after that, we will go to a the actual voting process. So basically, there's, there's two steps in the voting process. First thing we'll do is we'll test for a consensus. We'll say, in a non-binding fashion, is everyone opposed to this, or is everyone for? Actually, is everyone this? Excuse me, getting ahead of myself. Yeah. What we'll say is, all who are in favor of this proposal, raise your hand. And people will raise their hands, and we'll count. Uh, basically, uh, we want to see if there's an obvious majority, we'll just continue on and say that that is officially uh, uh, consensus. If there's not a clear majority from the, the initial vote, we'll go into and break out into groups. But basically, when you break out into groups, you literally just talk to your neighbors, you group together, and we'll work by by have a sort of small little discussion. And then uh, we'll break down that for about five minutes, and we'll come back in, and we'll vote again. Uh, if, uh, through a few times that's not really working, we'll actually just go to a straight two-thirds vote. Uh, once that two-thirds vote uh, passes, uh, then we will continue on to the uh, amendment and or proposal, and that will officially be accepted. Uh, <coughs> okay. Actually, yes, one thing I did forget to, uh, to mention is that, please, by all means, if you do not feel comfortable voting on something, if you do not want to vote on something, you are no, never, never obligated to vote. And it's very important to say that, because you know, some people might see lots of people with their hands up, you might feel pressured to raise your hand. You're never pressured to do that. So, that being said, uh, I <coughs> hand over the mic. Okay. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, first of all, I just want to give a little thank you to the people here at the Union Hall for allowing us to use their, their building. Um, they've been very generous in that, and we all know what's going on with the Union people, uh, the car, the auto workers, and so it, it cost them money to keep this place open for us, and so I would like to pass around this box. Uh, for friendly donations uh, in the event they need some help with the bills around here. So, I will start that out. All right. Now I'm here to talk about the group report bags. If uh, you were here last week, you know that after the end of the General Assembly, uh, we broke out into big groups. And those became our working groups, people volunteered, people have been working together throughout the past week. And um, they have started uh, gathering their information on things we're going to do going forward. So um, my job is to get that ball rolling and we will bring the, the some point people, they're not leaders, uh, just someone who has volunteered to come forward and report back about what the group has done over the past week. Now, yeah. uh, the first group up is um, the demands group, and that is Melissa. <coughs> Uh, has over the last week had an online group, which some people participated in and some people have not. Uh, the first agenda for this evening is going to be for the Committee to decide what our priorities are. 
And hopefully we'll have time tonight to start making some more proposed demands and discussing them. If tonight's General Assembly takes too long, the committee group may not have time to get any work done. So I'm hoping that we all keep that in mind. Um, that's really all I have to present right now. If you're interested in joining the demands committee, we're right into groups. Come and look for me. All the groups are open. Anyone can join any group that they would like. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, one quick question. Uh, online, you said there was a uh, participation. Yes. Uh, where was that? How did you get that? Was the uh, the other group, uh, if you're interested in getting into that, contact me at sometime tonight. No, so, but before, is there something on the, on the Facebook uh, page or something that directs you to We took go a sign-up sheet during the last general the last assembly. One, yeah. yeah, and anybody who uh, was interested during the Saturday rally uh, found a contact with this person. And if you provide your email address, we'll invite you to the group. We won't turn anyone down, but you do need to give us an email address so that we can does anybody else have any questions for the hands All right, thank you. Next up is the legal and security working group, and that uh, speaking for them will be Brian. Hello again. Um, the uh, legal and security uh, committee has been very busy over the last week. We've met twice, um, and we've been uh, active online. Uh, we have established contacts with the uh, ACLU uh, and the Lawyers Guild of America. Uh, we have uh, Richard Morris from the ACLU observing tonight. Um, the ACLU uh, is, is participating uh, as an advocate uh, as far as any public spaces go um, and to help us through the permitting process for uh, such spaces. Uh, the Lawyers Guild of America will uh, help us with, with uh, legal observer training for an occupation to make sure that we do have people trained to uh, make sure everything is on the up and the up, up and up with uh, the occupation that nobody is violating our civil rights. Um, we are sending some people up to Philadelphia for legal observer training this week and next week. So uh, they will in turn bring those skills back to Delaware to help us uh, train more people to be legal observers during an occupation. Um, we do have one proposal tonight that we are making, uh, which is uh, the adoption of uh, guidelines for effective uh, occupation. Just uh, some uh, general guidelines to help us all be safe and uh, secure in our occupation. Um, we are working on a uh, legal and security plan in conjunction with our legal contacts. Um, and uh, we will be meeting at some point with uh, the city, city officials if we do, in fact, occupy within the city of Wilmington or wherever that location is. Um, and lastly, uh, we need people. I think that, uh, as of last count, we have seven people on the Legal and Security uh, Committee. Uh, if you're interested in joining up with that, please see myself or anybody with the orange button uh, after uh, the meeting. Thank you. Okay, next up is the Legal and Security Working Group. which is a lot of things to take care of. So far we have um, a couple suggestions for people when it comes to actually occupying. Um, we suggest that everyone who's going to come the first day that we start occupying, um, bring yourself a week's supply of everything you're gonna need. So food, water, toilet paper. Um, we ask that you uh, think about bringing a set of uh, dishware with you because we do not want to have to provide and then throw out endless amounts of paper plates when it's time to feed everyone um, and to bring a reusable water bottle and not bring a whole bunch of disposable water bottles with you that are uh, going to be thrown out. We really would like to strongly, strongly suggest that before you come for occupation or even continued events that you get a flu shot. Um, <laughs> Part, people from my committee are already sick, probably with the same thing I have, and we just met each other twice. So if we're going to be living together, disease can spread very quickly, and 
that could shut us down quicker than anything else is 150 people with the flu. And the older you are, the easier it is for you to die from having the flu. We do not need that. Um, we want everyone to stay healthy. We ask people to start saving your uh, any reusable containers that you have at home from now on. Uh, empty milk jugs, things like that, so we can use them to collect water for all the water we're going to need. We're not expecting that we're going to be able to have running water. Um, remember, it's just going to keep getting colder for the most part. So, um, clothes and blankets. And if you can, not just for yourself, bring extra. Um, on the first day of the occupation, we'd like to have our first meal be a potluck if everyone could bring food in from home. Uh, we are looking for barrel coolers for water, so please consider lending them to us. Uh, we're going to need volunteers for <coughs> everything from picking up, collecting trash, to cooking food. Um, <coughs> helping with sanitation, and as far as I know, we maybe have one EMT, so if you know people who have any sort of medical training and would like to volunteer in a medical tent, uh, we'd really appreciate that. Let's see. Um, and those things are probably going to be needed on a daily basis. Um, <coughs> Sorry, I didn't write this. Um, and, oh, I have a van that I'm going to be uh, using to drive back and forth um, to be able to carry food from the kitchens we are looking into being used so we can have as much hot food as possible. A slight note on that, that my mother pays for all the gas. So she is not really looking to recommend, um, you know, like having her van have all that gas. Uh, so we could use donations in any way for gas, for all that driving back and forth, and food, clothing, sanitation donations. Um, and we still need a lot of people to help. There's five of us taking care of all of those things. And um, that's it. I'm done. Question. Yeah. Uh, is, that was a long list there, and I didn't take notes. But is, is all those things going to be listed prominently someplace in the website or Facebook page and someplace where that, those things can be brought or deposited? So anybody can say, oh, I can help do that. I won't be there, but I'll, I can help do that. Okay. Um, so far, because uh, we're not actually occupying yet, we don't necessarily have a place where we can deposit things. Um, However, that being said, uh, I have an empty warehouse space and an empty house that things can start being deposited if people are comfortable with that. And if you guys would like that, you can find me on Facebook and I will give people an address of where to take that. And you, the list. Um, we can put this list up all over the place. <coughs> Wherever you guys want, Facebook, Twitter, on our website. I have it all, it's all typed up neatly. So I could give it to you guys right away. Thank you. Michelle. <laughs> On Facebook, it says Florida, though. <laughs> I like to hide. Okay, next up. Uh, who is. Do we have someone here from. Media, uh, media? Me. Uh, it's me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> if it's all right with you, I'll just stand right here. Is that okay? Okay, great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was, I was the last person on the list to, to get this duty. Everyone else was either ill or couldn't make it, so I have to read off uh, 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 what all this is about. My name is Dana Garrett. If you're interested in being a member of the, of the Communications and Media Committee, please come see me at some point, and we'll be very glad uh, uh, to get you hooked up. Um, there was a collaboration between the media and action committee committees to get out rally flyers because of the short notice last week when we had our rally in um, in Wilmington. There was a press release regarding the rally that was issued by the committee um, that was issued last Thursday night to many contacts throughout Delaware, media contacts throughout Delaware. Also, we do have a video website uh, on YouTube it's Occupy Delaware on YouTube. Uh, uh, we've been putting up all these General Assembly meetings. I did a video on 
on the rally on Saturday. And um, so please uh, go to it, look at it. Uh, we've been also been posting the video on the Facebook page. I suspect that we will soon have the videos up on the web page as well. Um, and uh, uh, various people I understand have been blogging about our efforts uh, on personal blogs um, and, um, and, and, and so on. Yes? That was me. I've been blogging about everything. And what is your blog address? Um, you guys can check out the blog that I've been doing. It's uh, the, the platform of the people.blogspot.com. Okay, great. Okay, I've got three posts up so far, and it actually is completely in support of this. If you guys feel that you want to do any kind of personal one-on-one -on -one interviews, I don't mince, don't mince words. Don't you know? Try and make yourself sound all elegant and pleasant. I do this raw, unscripted, because that's what this movement is. It's is raw and unscripted. So just let me know, and I will work gladly do a small video of you guys. Or if you're going to do one on your own, you can do one on your own and email it to me. Wonderful. Great. Thank you. My, my email is nickyarnold89 at gmail.com. I'll, I'll spell it out for you later. Let, okay. let uh, Dana finish. Okay. Thank you. Also, one of the members of the committee uh, did an interview with WMDT on uh, Monday night. Uh, the media team is also working on creating a forum uh, uh, to which we can take in our discussions off of Facebook and email chains and have one common area where people can vocalize uh, their thoughts, their opinions, and, and their work. And again, I want to welcome everybody here tonight. If you want to be part of this committee, just come see me. I'm the tall, bald guy. Hard to miss. And uh, so... Um, Thank you. That's it. That's all I have to offer. Thank you.